Hey beer tubers, welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Tonight we're going to take a look at another special beer. This time we're taking a look at Innocent Guns Rum Cask Beer. This one's an oak aged beer just like their other ones. Except this one is actually aged in navy rum barrels rather than uh, Kentucky bourbon barrels. It's carefully matured after uh, in barrels for 57 days. I'm not sure exactly how long it's been in barrels and how long it's been in a maturation ton. But um, 57 days is the total amount of time uh, that it was brewed. This originally was one of their boxed beers, but uh, just recently uh, they released this in an issue where it's just a standard find it on the shelf with every other Innocent Gun uh, beer. Although it's been since discontinued, so I don't think it's going to be, it may be just a seasonal thing. It says on the back here, since discovering the secrets and joys of maturing beer in oak barrels, uh, we have been on a journey of further discovery, which has led some us some, to some pretty incredible taste experiences. Rum cask is one of our firm favorites. A slow maturation using American oak and rum infused oak uh, has imparted this beer with a delicious warming character that is bursting with fruit and lively spiciness. 7.4% ABV. It is a full-bodied Scottish beer, Scottish beer, bursting with fruity and spicy notes. I've done a couple of Innocent Gun beers on my channel before. Just recently I did the Canada Day 2011 beer. It's from Edinburgh. Got it right this time. Uh, in, in Scotland. Cool. Serve it 4 to 6 degrees, which I think is what I'm serving it at. It's got a, it says approved by Approved for bottling by Heather Gillespie, Master Brewist, Dull Douglas Gunn. Okay, I can't make it his last name, but I know it's the, one of the founders. Anyway, so Innocent Gun Oak Gate Beer. Let's give it a shot. You can already tell what color it is. Let's pour it out. It's actually really nice and dark. Their um, regular one is more of a an auburn color. Like regular ones more like a what does it say on the box? Honey. Yes. Whereas this one doesn't have a description. It's darker. Much darker. It's almost like a, it's a deep ruby red. Perhaps with tinges of purple. Doesn't pour it with much head, but uh, then again, uh, none of the innocent guns really do. What was left behind is very nice. It is uh, very, um, very almost thick looking, and it looks like it leaves uh, a bit of quite a bit of lacing on the sides of the beer. That's typical for innocent gun brews. There's a little bit of carbonation visible within the beer itself. See if you can see that. But uh, given the darkness of the beer, it's almost hard, impossible to see. Yeah, that's really nice. Let's give it a sniff. I almost pick up a more present alcohol note coming off of that one. Perhaps that's being uh, one of two reasons. It's in a clear bottle. Second reason being... Um, it's a much higher ABV beer than your typical Innocent Gun. You swirl around a bit and you start to get more smells of like woody smells, oak smells. Some touches of toffee and vanilla. And touches of dark fruits. Like plum. Plum, raisin, grape, red grape. Maybe a hint of cranberry. Hmm. Very nice smelling beer. Certainly one that's probably going to be a pleasure to drink, so let's give it a try.
just like it's the original Innocent Gun. It's got a sweet taste to it, but not overpoweringly sweet. It's enjoyably sweet. On the other hand, the flavor profile is completely different. And it's more like a dark rum kind of taste here. You get the traditional Innocent Gun flavors you get from the oak barrels, such as the vanilla, toffee. But you also get that dark fruits like plum, prune, uh, raisins. One taste I find I really like is cranberry. I like cranberry, so this is actually quite nice. And it's got a smoky, woody quality to it. And a very pleasant aftertaste. It's not very bitter. It carries a mild bitterness that's decentralized throughout the entire mouth and lingers a bit on the back of your tongue. It finishes very dry and it's got a nice creamy taste to it. The alcohol in that beer is masked perfectly. For such a high IV ABV, you almost don't you don't detect it at all. It may change after it warms up a bit. So I'm gonna sit down with this one and come up with some thoughts. I'll be right back. <laughs> And we're back with Innocent Guns Rum Cask. So what did I think? It's very nice. Nice smooth drinking beer, good to the last drop, and worth savoring. Um, the flavor profile for this one, I, I find this beer to be just as good for what it is than what Innocent Guns uh, original cask is. Uh, this beer... Um, if you're like just like if you're a fan of like whiskey and bourbons uh, and you really appreciate the Innocent Guns original this one here is for the rum drinker this one here is full of dark rum flavors like dark fruits like cranberry and, uh, prune and, and uh, grape and I actually noticed a little spicy tint like um, uh, like clove uh, very nice very smooth drinking and uh, you don't notice the alcohol even when it's warmed up it's very good and um, definitely worth getting. Uh, if it comes back in the stores, and I sincerely hope it does, it's a very worthwhile beer to pick up and one of the finest beers available. I'm going to give this one a 4.5 out of 5 just because I thought that this was beer was exquisite. Um, definitely worth it and uh, definitely a fantastic beer. All right, thank you for watching Maxwell Stars Beer Review, and uh, tune in next time. We've got more beers on the way. Talk to you soon. Bye.